Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bold red lip look and this is the final. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look. Starting this look with some amazing moisturizer by La Roque Posay. It's something I always use to create a nice little barrier and for this, this is the Double Repair Face Moisturizer. I will be writing everything that I use in the bio section below, so go ahead and check that out if you have any questions about the products that I'm using. And then I'm going to be going ahead and using um, Ardell Photo Face in light. I'm actually going to be using a combination of foundations. This I found is very matte. It is the matte foundation, but I live in Florida, so I have a tendency to mix matte with dewy simply because if I do all dewy, I end up getting really oily. So I'm going to be mixing that with my dewy and smooth um, by Maybelline. I know I see the little sticker on there. I don't even know if you can see this, but it, the, I definitely got this on Clarence. So anyways, I'm going to be using the combination of the light and the dewy. Um, the, I, this is in, the Maybelline is in Sandy Beige 210. And once I've got that all bundled in, I am going to go in with my concealer from Maybelline, the Fit Me Concealer in Sand. Now that I have that all blended in, I mainly just put it on my face to make it just a little more pop. I'm definitely a little bit tired. First, I am actually going to be using a combination of um, cream to powder foundations by Mist Stockholm. I'm going to be using a combination of chocolate and I believe, no, this one's, I don't know what this one is. It's chocolate and I think cacao is this one. And this I'm going to be doing some contour work, just sort of edging out um, my cheekbones a little bit. I'm doing a little bit on my nose, but keeping it very minimal. I'm really trying to go for more of like a very natural sort of poppy look. that I'm done contouring a little bit and adding a little bit of dimension to my face. I just did that with a regular little sponge. Um, usually I would use a little bit of a brush to apply it at first, but um, I'm a dumb dumb and I forgot to bring one. So I just thought I'd be creative and use my little sponge to sort of just soft, um, a soft blend kind of create. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my loose powder to set my face. I'm gonna be using Maybelline. Um, the loose powder and it's called shine free and light I was born crying out and it's come back to me when everyone else is setting up to fall I just think back on and on. now that we're 
that we have my base done for my face. I'm going to move on and do my brows. For my brows, I'm gonna be using Ardell Stroke A Brow. I'm obsessed with this product. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video on Ardell Beauty Products. I reviewed a bunch of brand new products they launched, I believe, over, I don't know, I made that video a year ago, so I wanna say over a year and a half ago. Um, they launched their entire um, new cosmetic brand. They're not just lashes, they're everything, and their Stroke of Brow is easily my favorite product and I get compliments on my brows constantly um, for being looking so thick and full and no one even suspects that I'm wearing makeup underneath them to create the beautiful sort of furry look. So um, I use a combination of the um, dark brown and I believe taupe is what they are. I've, I mean, they're just so beat up at this point because I use them all the time. Um, and they last a while and usually they have them on sale at Sally's, so check them out. But um, I usually start with the taupe where I'm in the center, work my way out with the dark brown. to the dark brown with the dark brown you kind of have to be careful because what you're trying to do is you're trying to create what looks like hair strokes so you really want to get in there with um, strategic sort of placement um, and if you go a little too wonky with it then you just use a q-tip to sort of clean up your messes As you can see, my brows are looking pretty bold. I'd like to think that they're very natural looking. Um, I really don't like the blocked brow look and I feel that being able to use the stroke of brow, it creates more of a very bold, natural brow. Moving on to eyeshadow, I will be using a very natural sort of glowy, um, like gold bronzy type of feel to it. Um, I am going to be starting off with a very sort of um, neutral tone, which is going to be from my beautiful Too Faced palette, um, Too Faced and Kat Von D palette, which is, you know, the half of the heart. And within that palette, I'm going to be using the BFF, which is the cream color. I'm going to be using um, sort of just a blendy brush. I'm really not, I love using the blendy brushes for looks like this because it allows to create just a glowy look rather than a dense bold eye look when I know my lips are gonna be bold. So I only want one thing to be bold. ahead and use um, from Miss Stockholm. It is a color vibration. It is called Cape Cod. It's super beautiful. I love their color vibration pigments because there's a multitude of pigments you're getting in there. Um, this is going to appear pretty coppery but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, um, you're seeing a lot of different shades in here. very very natural sort of bronzy brownish natural look and then I'm going to be going in with Luxembourg um, by Miss Stockholm and it's very white and um, gold shimmery and just sort of in the center And 
that's gonna be all I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go, move ha go ahead and move on to do my liquid liner by NYX in the matte liquid liner. the liner always takes me a minute because I'm never sure if I'm even and if anyone's used liquid liner before and tried to go for a winged eye and have hooded eyes especially you all know the struggle um, I don't know if you guys saw me I'm very big on using powder puffs when doing eyeliner or things where you're gonna be up against your cheek a lot I recommend it it usually sometimes you'll have them even come in um, like your little powder cases, but I like ones that you can get your finger behind them. You can get them at your local Sephora or even like CVS or Walgreens, they have them. Um, I definitely think it's a necessity in your beauty bag. And so something I do is I usually, did it just break? It did, didn't it? A little trick I have, well, it's probably not a trick, but what I personally love to do when I do a liquid liner like this is go um, with a crayon or a um, gel liner, which this is. It's called Wanna Get Lucky by Ardell. And um, it's a bit of like a silvery hue, but I like it because it brings, it pops my eyes a little bit because it has like a bluish hue. And I go in my under waterline and then I go slightly on the bottom, but I never go fully on the bottom simply because then it would like really make my eyes look small. So that's kind of whatever your preference is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite Colossal Maybelline Mascara. And now my eyes are finished, so I'm then going to move on and just do a little bit of blush. And the last thing I do is always my lips because usually when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like drinking coffee or I'm, you know what I mean, brush your teeth last minute, <laughs> whatever you gotta do until you know your lips are gonna be bright red and you're not trying to get red lipstick over everything because it's the worst when you forget to brush your teeth and you have red lips on and you have lipstick all over your toothbrush and it's just, it's just a bad, it's a bad situation. <laughs> Anyways, so then, all right. So the blush today I'm gonna use is by Mist Stockholm. Um, it is called Blusher, I believe. Not 100% sure, because it, it wore off. But it has a bit of a corally sort of hue to it. I want something warm. My skin is olive, so usually I'm not a huge fan of warm tones. But in this situation, I actually really like this. I swear it's more of a neutrally rather than either a warm or a cool. But if I were to just look at it, I'd definitely say warm. But somehow it manages to work on my skin, or at least I think it does. <laughs> bit of a pop of color and now I'm going to be doing my lips so I'm actually gonna be doing a combination for my lips I'm going to be doing forever kissable is what I'm gonna be using by Ardell for um, my lip stain and like my lip liner so it's amazing to start with something like this because it really makes it long wear because it's a stain. The problem is sometimes it like dries you out. So that's why I usually am gonna, I do the combination of the lip stain slash lip liner cause it's actually a marker. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and 
Then I go over with a liquid matte lipstick, which this is the Vivid Matte Liquid by Maybelline. This red, what color is this? This is number 35, it's called Rebel. This red has more of like an orangiest hue to it, but I really want to make it like as bright and bold as possible, so that's why I'm going with these two. It's just the lip stain as you can see it's very matte it's like it's it's basically like a marker I could put on lip gloss I've done that before too but I'm actually gonna be going over with this more vibrant red And that concludes the look for today's video, the red lip look. Hopefully you guys appreciate this look as much as I do on a regular basis. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. For all those that are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. There will be more where this came from.